Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be discussing about date pickers. So we are going to learn how to implement a date picker in SwiftUI. Date pickers are a crucial part of many applications, especially those dealing with scheduling and events. So let's dive in and see how easy it is to create one in SwiftUI. But before we get started, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our SwiftUI tutorials. All right. Let's jump into Xcode and start crafting our SwiftUI masterpiece. So on the screen, you can see we have a date picker view created and inside the body we have a text hello world. So this is the default template which comes with when you create a SwiftUI view file. All right. So for adding a date picker, we will just remove this text from here and add a list. We are adding a list because list starts from the top and we want to show the date picker on the top, not in the center. So just for better UI, we can even use a V stack here, but that will add our date picker in the center of the screen, which we don't want. We want it to look uh, a little better. So we are adding list. You can even use V stack if you want. And now we will select date picker and you'll see we have few options like title key and selection. Let's just select this one title key. And for title, we'll say, please select a date. And for selection, it is asking for a binding variable. So let's quickly create one. We'll create a variable called selected date. And this will be of type date. And for now, we will store the current date in this variable. So we have created the selected date. And because it is asking for a binding variable, we will append a dollar and then the name. So whenever user selects a date, this selected date variable will get updated and the date that is selected by the user will get stored in this variable. All right, so in the right hand side, you can see we have please select a date title, which we passed here, as well as a date picker with date and time value. And once we tap on this date, you'll see a nice date picker has opened in a pop-up and we can select any date from here. We also have this small arrow here if you click on this, it will open a year and month picker and we can click here again to select a date. And here, if we click, we can select any time that we want and we can click outside to dismiss this. Also, you can see that uh, this label is actually taking three lines and it is not looking good. So let's just hide this label. So we can say labels hidden. And this label will be hidden and only the date picker will be visible. All right. So this is how easy it is to add a date picker. We just need a one line of code to add a date picker and whatever value that we are selecting is already getting stored inside this variable. Now there might be certain cases where you only want to show the date, but not the time. Uh, let's say if you want to ask the user about his date of birth, then you don't need the exact time of his birth, but you only need the date. So for this, we can select display components. And here we can say it has two options, date and another is hour and minute. So if you only want time, then we can select hour and minute. But if you only want date, we can select date. So currently we only want date. So we selected date and only this date component will be visible. And you can click here and choose any date that you want. Also, there's one more parameter that I wanted to discuss, which is range. So let's say you are booking an application where you want to book an appointment. So whenever you want to book an appointment, you want it for a future date, right? Unless you are a time traveler. So, and I know you are not. So you want to book the appointment for a future date and you don't want the user to select any past days. So for this, we can select this end parameter and inside this, we need to provide a close range. So in this close range, we want to say that we want to accept any dates from the future, but not from the past. So here we can say date dot now. So any date from now and any date from future is fine. So Swift has a nice way of specifying the range where you can select uh, set the initial value. And if you don't have anything after the three dots, 
it means that you will accept any value from the future but you won't accept any value from the past for the past we have assigned that we want date dot now and for the future we haven't specified anything that means that we are saying that any value from the future is acceptable okay similarly if we had these three dots before this date dot now it would mean that any past values are acceptable but we are not accepting any value from the future all right and this is giving us an error argument must okay so it wants this n parameter to be preceding this display components so let's just quickly fix it all right so currently we have uh, set this to accept the past values let's see how does it looks so you can see that all the future values are unclickable and all the past values are selectable but we want the opposite so we'll append these three dots this side and now all the future values can be accepted for taking the booking so now let's say we only want to allow user to select date from today until 3 months from now on so for this let's create our future date for creating a future date or 3 months from now this would be of type date and here we can say calendar dot current dot date by adding month and we want only want date from 3 months from now on so we'll select the value as 3 and inside 2 we'll say dot now we need to force unwrap it so this variable will now store the date from 3 months from now on so we have specified date dot now and at the end we will say 3 months from now on so this has given us 3 months and we will be able to select value until 3 months but no value after that so you can see we have 26 december as first date and 26th of march as last date so we only have 3 months of window open because we have provided a close range of date dot now to 3 months from now similarly for hours let's say we want the display components to be hours and minute and we want to use it to only select 10 minutes from now on so we can change this uh, 3 months from now value to minutes and we can set the value to 10 we will keep everything as it is and you can see once i tap here i will be able to select till 38 but if i try to select 40 or 43 it won't let me do it because we have provided the close range of date dot now which is the current time till 10 minutes so it is letting us select value till 10 minutes and it won't let us select any value after it so i guess we have covered everything inside this date picker and uh, i hope you understood and uh, got the idea how to use date picker it is pretty simple we just need to use this date picker element and need to have a binding variable to store the value and we also discussed how we can pro uh, provide a close range to uh, accommodate date of birth or book an appointment or specify a close range so that's it for this video and uh, i'll see you guys in next one thank you